Winter has come and gone, and spring is already at our doorsteps. While lawn care may seem like a daunting task, there are some simple things you can do to achieve and maintain the perfect green lawn you've always wanted. So in this video, we'll go over 5 quick tips you can use to improve your spring lawn care routine. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about lawn care, click the icon in the top right of the screen, or click the link in the description below. The first thing you'll need to do in spring is to rake away any leaves and debris from the top layer of soil. We say this often, but it's really important to clear your lawn of anything that can get in the way of direct sunlight, water, fertilizer, or herbicide and fungicide applications. Raking your lawn is a great way to prepare your yard, as it makes your product applications more potent, thus ensuring they get much more economical use. Just be sure not to work your lawn until after the lawn thaws from any frost from winter. Just stepping on your grass while frosted can cause damage and brown spots to form. You may also find it necessary to dethatch your lawn. Thatch is a matted gathering of organic debris, mainly consisting of decaying grass, leaves, and roots that collect in your turf. If left alone, thatch can choke out new grass growth, allowing weeds and diseases to thrive. You can get rid of a little thatch with a regular rake, but you'll really need a thatching rake to effectively and safely dethatch your lawn. Be sure to rake and dethatch your lawn regularly, and be sure to avoid raking and dethatching when the soil is oversaturated with water, as you may end up pulling perfectly healthy grass from the soil. After clearing away debris, you can get a better survey of the state of your turf. It's important to conduct an inspection of your lawn and look for spots where damage may have occurred during the winter. Look for any signs of weed growth, pest damage, or lawn disease. Note whatever you find and plan to take care of each problem accordingly. Weeds may need a post-emergent herbicide like MSM Turf. Depending on what pests you find, you may need an insecticide like Dominion 2L, or if you're dealing with an animal, you may need a live animal trap. If you've spotted some lawn diseases taking hold, then you'll need to apply a fungicide like Patch Pro. This is also a good time to stop and get your current soil temperature, and to send in a soil sample to your local agricultural extension to get tested. This is valuable information that can help you out later during your regular lawn care routine. Lawn aeration may seem like an unneeded step to some homeowners, but we recommend you do it if you're able. Aerating your lawn involves poking holes into the ground to loosen compacted soil, allowing air and water to more easily reach your grass's roots. You can tell if soil is compacted by observing where water puddles quickly form during rainfall. Aeration can have many benefits on your lawn. Not only will it increase your lawn's drainage, thus reducing puddles and excess water, but it also makes certain insecticide applications more effective by allowing the product to reach the grass's roots. Dominion 2L, for example, is a systemic insecticide used to treat various turf pests. Therefore, it needs to be absorbed by the plant's roots to effectively work the product through the plant and affect targeted pests. Aeration can also create environments that are less conducive to fungal development, thus stopping some lawn diseases from taking hold. Be aware that if you decide to aerate your lawn, mechanical aeration must be done before any pre-emergent herbicide is laid down. Pre-emergent herbicides create a chemical barrier that will prevent weed seeds from sprouting. If you mechanically aerate a lawn that's been treated with pre-emergent, you'll create holes in the barrier and risk potential weed activity. One of the most effective ways to ensure a green lawn throughout spring is to simply maintain it. The easiest things you can do are to mow and water your turf properly. Before you get started, examine your lawnmower to see if any maintenance needs to be done. You'll likely just need to clean and sharpen the mower's blades, but you should also check to see if an oil change is necessary. Once that's done, adjust your mower's height. You'll want to mow your grass to the proper height of 3 to 4 inches once a week. When it comes to watering, the proper way to do it is to water your lawn deeply once a week in the morning rather than a little every day. Give your lawn at least 1 to 1.5 inches of water every week. This much water in the morning ensures the water will travel down to the turf's root zone. If you water your lawn during the day, then most of the water will evaporate before it can be absorbed. These simple tasks are easy to work into any lawn care routine and will ensure your grass stays strong to fight any damage from weeds, pests, or diseases. In spring, your grass will use up food and nutrients stored in its roots from summer and fall in order to grow vigorously. This store of energy will need to be replenished and you can do so by applying fertilizer. You'll need a fertilizer that will leave your lawn with the proper amount of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, or NPK. If you were able to get a soil test earlier, that should inform you of what exactly your lawn needs. If not, then a locally mixed fertilizer with a general NPK ratio should be enough. Fertilizers are unique to the region they're made and sold in. 
Fertilizer sold in Texas will have a different range of nutrients and content from fertilizer sold in Georgia, and so on. If you know your lawn is too saturated with nitrogen, then you may want to consider a slow-release fertilizer. Too much nitrogen in a lawn can actually encourage weeds and disease to overtake your turf, so a slow-release fertilizer will provide your lawn with the nutrients it needs without overstimulation. Consider our 15-5-10 Weed and Feed with Trimec. Our 15-5-10 Weed and Feed with Trimec contains 15% nitrogen, 5% phosphorus, and 10% potassium with the herbicide Trimec. The product's nitrogen content will slowly release into the soil, while the Trimec will work to kill common weeds like clover, dandelions, henbit, and dollarweed. Spring may be upon us, but that doesn't mean your lawn care has to be backbreaking or difficult in order to achieve a lush green lawn. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can have the perfect green lawn you've wanted, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.